Animals for Awareness is a nonprofit organization, and we do several things. We rescue wild and exotic animals. We are educational, so we take the animals out and we educate the public. Well, we've got foxes, we've got raccoons, we've got uh, coatamundis, we've got lynxes, we've got bobcats, African spotted genets. We have about 50 species of animals, approximately 70 animals altogether. We talk about how not all animals make good pets and not all people make good pet owners. Just because an animal can be sold as a pet and it's legal to own as a pet doesn't mean that it makes a good pet. Getting an exotic animal gives them a feeling of a status symbol. You know, some people get into cool looking cars, um, some want the biggest bad looking dog, and some want an exotic animal thinking it makes them cool. So people that take on these animals usually uh, get them at a fairly low price. They think it's a great idea at the time and then you know when they get these animals and they find the care that's involved, they find that there are rules and regulations against having animals like this and uh, that becomes a problem and they either abandon them or you know they keep them in uh, conditions that are totally unsatisfactory to the animal and um, you know so what we do is we get calls on that, we pick them up and we uh, care for these guys until they are uh, able to get placed in a, you know, a facility for the uh, care that they need for each particular animal. We have a capuchin monkey, a male capuchin monkey. He's 10 years old. He was purchased when he was a little newborn baby. They had all his teeth pulled. The more and more you see of them, it, it's even sadder. They love, they get depressed, they have temper tantrums. They're in a wrong environment. They're highly intelligent. It's like us being in solitary confinement. Just picture that. You didn't do nothing wrong. They pulled all your teeth. They put you in a cage, fed you the improper food, and that's your life. But you didn't do nothing wrong. You were just born. And that's the sad part. They're, they're toss -aways. Big Run Wolf Ranch is a wildlife education facility. Uh, Two-thirds of our animals are rescues, uh, meaning that people had been caught with them illegally. Basically, the, the only other alternative would have been uh, euthanasia. So we do uh, give the, uh, and then they're used for education. So basically, we like to call them ambassadors of wildlife. Thing. You know, there's uh, there many unscrupulous people out there that will sell you anything for anything just to make the money. Let's say where our bear came from. He was being sold illegally and the people that got caught with the animal, well then they went to Will County to the animal control, the shelter, of which they have a limited amount of time to place that animal because they do not have the federal license. I do, so technically they have to find a place to take it. That's when they brought him here. He's a wonderful animal. He's got the greatest personality. Talk all about everything you could possibly want to know about a bear, and then uh, the kids ask questions. The biggest danger that I find is your inexperience. You guys, everybody, you're probably raised with dogs, around your friends' dogs, your parents, your cousins, and everything, dogs, okay? Those behind me are not dogs. Uh, that cougar is not a kitty cat. And so basically, it is your inexperience of people that get these animals. They fall for these little innocent babies that are cute and cuddly. A, an exotic animal turns, it's dramatic. And when they're babies and little, they're used to it. They don't know any better. But once they hit sexual maturity, all these hormones are going and they have nowhere to go. I mean, these animals, you have no idea where they're going to. And they just get passed from one place to another to another. They get confiscated, they get euthanized, they get released. Look at the alligators in the Chicago River. But the lynxes and the more expensive animals, they're going to go back into the black market. People aren't going to let them loose. They're going to sell them back in the black market. And they just get passed from one place to another to another. And there's just, you just don't know where they're going to end up. They can go from bad to worse. They're, they're not a pet. They're not domesticated. And they're too highly intelligent to be locked up like that. 